Hey, this is Caroline from Pitcamp TV, and we are here tonight with Corn. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks for having us on your show. Um, how are you? I am well. Brian Welch. I'm good. I slept. Uh, we got here. I slept like six hours and then I woke up. Then I ate. Then I slept some more. Oh, wait. You really want to know? I'm good. Yeah, sure. I'm good. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you're not jet lagged or anything? A little bit. A little bit. When did you get to Cologne? When did you get here? Uh, we got here yesterday about this time. Have you seen anything from the city? Yes. I went to over to the Dom uh, Cathedral and yeah. uh, walked across the bridge and it was... Quite nice. I went to see Crow last night. Crow? Wait, is that his name? The guy with the, he wears a mask. The panda mask? Yeah. Yeah. Where have you seen him? Where did he play? Right next door. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the place is called, but it was outside. And uh, he came out at 8.15, but I left at 7.30. <laughs> All right. I was jet lagged. So I went there and then I left. Yeah, so. you need to catch up some sleep, I guess. But it was sold out. There's 10,000 people sold out. Crazy. Yeah. You guys played some major festivals this summer. How was it? It was a lot of fun. I mean, it, we had a lot of time to sort of get ready for that. And the first one was a little bumpy, oh, but it turned out really good. Um, the one in Poland we played. Oh, yeah. I mean, the stage was really small and we had, and it rained all day. I mean, you just never know with a festival, like it, what sort of day it's going to be and uh but we played with some friends we got to see a lot of friends over the summer and it was uh we got to do the rock and ring rock and park shows and yeah. that was a lot of fun and big crowds and uh they're, 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 our fans are so loyal the, take them all to they, they every just show. yeah it doesn't matter where we play they they'll show up if they can yeah, you do uh, quite a different festivals. Sometimes you do uh, festivals who are um, with lots of metal music and not really uh, different kinds of style. But you also do things like Rock and Park, Rock and Ring, where they connect all the uh, different kinds of music. What do you prefer? Um, I prefer a small, small club. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just different because I love looking out and seeing all the huge, huge crowd. And it's like, yeah, man. But then in, in the club, it's like there's such a, a vibe and, and uh, the energy is just like surging, you know, because the connection, you could, there, people are right in front of you. So I like the festivals where there's like all kinds of bands, like the one the Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, there's Limp Bizkit, there's Paramore, yeah. um, uh, what's that, uh, Radioactive Band. Um, Imagine Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All like all different mixes, but I also like. I prefer those probably the most because I like when music gets together. But I'll, I also like the the metal festivals because the the crowds are just like just intense, you know. So, but if I were to pick, I, I like to I like playing the mixture of bands because it's more fun to go watch different type of bands, you know, for us as a fan. You said you really like club shows. Do you really play club shows anymore? Yeah, we do. We, but we, I mean, Germany big as well? clubs, big clubs. I they're mean, like theaters. Right? Yeah, they're like theaters. You know, All right, like okay. two thousand, five thousand. Uh, it feels like a club when you after you yeah. play it, like a huge. It feels like a club. Rock and park and that shit's huge. So uh, anything after that feels like a club. But yeah, I just like the connection. You can look and see the reaction on the fans' faces right in front of you. All right, cool. Um, you also played some festivals along with Limp Bizkit. Could you imagine another Family Values tour with them or maybe somebody else? I mean, I, I love that band. I really do. I know uh, through the years, I we played, when we did those shows with them, it was good to see them and those guys all back together. And uh, they just, they throw down live. They're such a great live band. And um, what, what do you think? I think it'll happen like maybe, in, you know, in our lifetime sometime. It's just got to be a question of like when, you know, when that would all fall into place. But I mean, eventually it should happen. Maybe in 10 years, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's been a while um, that you uh, left the band and now you're back together. 
So um, what did change since you're back here? Um, everyone's happy and they love life and there's new families and there's new babies and there's everyone's just like there's not much bad like drama or nothing there's nothing there's i mean it's just really positive and i'm having the time of my life <laughs> yeah i really i really enjoy it you know i really enjoy it. and i'm thankful for for my friends being healthy me being healthy and us being able to connect with fans still you know okay cool and uh, music wise did anything changed so um jonathan started getting to electronic music a lot yeah so he's it's really cool because he he's pretty up to date you know because i tend to stay like just in metal music you know mm -hmm. which is i love it but it's cool because he'll bring like different elements to the to the band and stuff like that and and this guy's always been into like trippy weird music too so he, he like i don't know he, they come up with stuff that i don't really think of and so i really like that that you know everyone brings their own thing to the table what what else can you tell us about your new album which is coming out here in october um it's it's a great mixture of i think how we used to write which is you know four guys five of us in 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 the room um And a, a lot of these songs, most of the songs, like Brian was saying, they're all built around heavy guitar riffs. And then the the programming and the electronics were added around that. So um, that's, I mean, that's one of my favorite things is that the five of us sat in a room and wrote these songs together. And you can hear that. And the energy of the songs, I think we captured uh, something that's really going to translate live to the fans. I think the fans are going to make the connection with it. And with Brian back, you know, we wanted a guitar-driven album, and I think we accomplished that. It just feels like a well-rounded album. There's electronic songs. There's even a song on there called um, Lullaby for the Sadist, and that's has it starts out, you know, almost like a, a ballad, but then kind of mm -hmm. ramps up into this great melodic heavy song. So it just feels like a, a well-rounded album. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> all right. Um, we have a question from a uh, fan from Tennessee. He's asking you uh, for your three uh, favorite cities to play in. Tennessee. Yeah. That's where that's where I live. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe he's my neighbor. His name is James. Oh, I know James. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> all um, right. <laughs> hey, James, are you having the time of your life? Because that's where. Uh, That's where it's from. So, okay. Album. Um, no, no, city. Favorite. Cities? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said CDs. Three favorite cities. CDs. Well, I just started touring again, so this guy would probably know better. So you tell him. Okay. City one. Is this like fans or food? <laughs> ah. Don't get it. Okay. Oh. Sorry. My favorite place to play uh, as far as fans is... Um, Uh, Sao Paulo, the mm -hmm. fans are crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, that goes for most of Latin America. Um, Tokyo, it's an awesome city, and um, oh man, I don't, I don't know. What's a, what's another favorite city? Um, I like I liked Germany, man. It's not a city, that's a country. Oh, I liked Russia. Moscow? No, a city. <laughs> I don't know. I just started, so pick one more. Moscow is all right. The, the fans go nuts there. And food wise, <laughs> oh, food wise, Rome, um, uh, Venice, no, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we do have good food in California. Okay, cool. Well, uh, anything you want to add? Anything you uh, would like to let the German fans know? <clears throat> I just want them to know how much we appreciate them and that we're very grateful uh for their loyalty for 20 years of this band it's been a roller coaster and the majority of our hardcore fans have been stuck by us so i want to thank them and there's can i have something yeah sure and we got some uh, little projects too that we worked on on our on ourselves so we can we can plug them right sure. fair in the nervous system And uh, that the record's out. Is it in Europe too? Yeah, you can get it on iTunes. Yeah, and then my other band, Love and Death, 
So if people uh, want to go check out our side projects, we'd be grateful too. So thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>